Hi, I'm Natalia Lopez Carranza, and I'm the Invertebrate Paleontology Collection Manager at the Natural History Museum here at KU. For National Fossil Day, we want to showcase our collection of Permian invertebrates from the Southeast Asian island of Timor. Let me begin by giving you a brief overview of our general collection. We are ranked among the top 10 largest fossil invertebrate collections in the country with over 900,000 invertebrate fossils and microfossils from all over the world. The Division of Invertebrate Paleontology at KU conducts research, research training for undergrads, graduate education and outreach, as well as providing access to our collections to researchers worldwide. With over 900,000 specimens, our collection spans from the Ediacaran, around 600 million years ago, up to the Holocene, which is the present geological epoch. Our specimens represent all continents and all major invertebrate groups, for example, arthropods, mollusks, brachiopods, and echinoderms. The strength of our collection lies in Cambrian trilobites, like the one shown to the right, Upper Paleozoic invertebrates from the mid-continent of the U.S., which include eastern Kansas, Oklahoma, much of Iowa, Missouri, and Illinois, Cambrian soft-body faunas from Utah, brachiopods, and echinoderms. Now that we know the basics, let's take a look at our Timur collection. The Permian is a geologic period that started approximately 298 million years ago and ended approximately 251 million years ago. We currently hold over 1,200 specimens from the Permian of Timor. The island of Timor is located in Southeast Asia, north of Australia, and forms part of the Indonesian archipelago. The island is divided into two states. The west side of the island is part of Indonesia, and the east side of the island, as its name suggests, is East Timor. The Permian marine fauna of Timor is highly diverse. Not only is there a high number of species, but most species are represented by a large number of individuals. Overall, there is over a thousand species in the island. Some of the best represented groups of invertebrates are echinoderms, particularly crinoids and blastoids, brachiopods, ammonites, and corals. Other less represented groups include bivalves, gastropods, and trilobites. Most of the Timor material at KU was collected by R.C. Moore. He was a distinguished geologist, paleontologist, and KU professor, as well as the creator of the Treatise of Invertebrate Paleontology, which covers every phylum of fossil and living invertebrates. Let's start by taking a look at echinoderms. Echinoderms are possibly the most diverse and abundant invertebrates in the Permian of Timor. Overall, echinoderms are one of the major groups of marine invertebrates. They include sea stars, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and sea lilies, also known as crinoids. See, there is no doubt that these creatures live in the sea. Of all echinoderms, crinoids are the most diverse group in the Permian fauna of Timor. Some species are represented by thousands and thousands of individuals. In our collection, over half of the echinoderms are crinoids. Their morphology is represented in this schematic drawing. As you can see, their bodies can be divided into crown and stalk. The fossils shown here are part of the cup, also known as calyx, which is part of the crown. Here are some more examples of just how morphologically diverse crinoids can be. Blastoids, although very similar to crinoids, are an extinct group of echinoderms. They went extinct approximately 250 million years ago. In this diagram showing their morphology, you can see just how much they resemble crinoids. The structure that you are seeing in the pictures is called the theca. The theca was attached to the stalk, with the mouth located at the tip of the theca. These echinoderms sure look like nuts but I can assure you that they are not. The next group of invertebrates that we'll see are brachiopods. Brachiopods are very diverse and abundant in the fossil record, particularly during the Paleozoic, but they're still around today. 
They externally resemble bivalves since they have shells with two halves. However, they're not closely related to mollusks and their internal anatomy is completely different. Brachiopods are highly diverse in the Permian fauna of Timor and we have approximately 500 specimens in our collection. Lastly, we'll talk about ammonites. Ammonites are an extinct group of mollusks. They went extinct approximately 66 million years ago, just like dinosaurs. They're closely related to living octopuses, squids, and cuttlefish. They are one of the main groups present in the Permian fauna of Timor. Thank you for joining us in this journey through our invertebrate fossil collections of Timor. I hope you're enjoying National Fossil Day. Look forward to more fossil content from us at the Natural History Museum at KU.